my mum has died, you know what I mean? She's gone, in it? But um, I'm so grateful for the time I had with her. Mm. So I can either sit here and, and like, let it kill me and crush me, or I can say, you know what? God, I'm so thankful that you gave me this woman for, for 27 years. I'm so blessed to have a mother like that, who I had a fantastic relationship with. So when did you start falling back? Because I said to you, like, when did you walk away? But you just said that you just kind of like fell back. What, yeah, um, around 2014, I think. I think it was 2014, end of 2014, when um, I was like, there was a few things going on. Um, and I was, at the time, I was just getting in trouble a lot. Like, and I was living in my family home. And um, realistically, I was just, I, I didn't have a job. I was just shot in, you know what I mean? Um, and it was causing problems with my mum, my dad, my family in general, because I've come from a good family home. Like, they show me love my whole life. Um, so what I was doing, was negative, do you know what I mean? And I was doing it from the family house, so I'm in and out the house. And, and my family started to realise, what are you doing? What are you playing at, you know? And um, I'd been doing that for a few years. And about 2014, it hit the point where I was, I was 20 something, 24. I just broke up with my ex at the time. Like, and I said, you know what? I need to sort my life out because realistically, I was pinning everything on music. I felt like music's gonna be my way out. And it, I started to realise it's not. <laughs> Sometimes it traps you in. It traps me in because, that, and again, I'm not making no excuses because I don't glamorise that lifestyle at all. But a part of it was because I didn't want to get a job because I wanted to do my music. So I was just doing what I do on the side. Mm -hmm. And I realised, nah, man, I've got to change my life around. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to try, I'm going to try a thing. So I started set up a sports company um, and started doing sports sessions, Saturday soccer schools, etc. I went and travelled, I went to America for a bit and just experienced life, just took in different experiences away from music because I needed new content as well. Like I can't, if I'm not living, there's nothing to talk about, you know? So I just, I just, I lost a little bit of passion for the game because I, in all honesty, bruv, like I was a little, I felt a bit, you know, this ain't worked and it was a bit sad. Not sad, but I was like, you know, it's not happening. I'm seeing people that I was making music with go and I'm just still here. I'm not getting no bookings. I'm not getting supported. I got f supporters telling me they love my music, but I ain't got nothing, no one in the industry. Mm. And I said, you know what, man, let me, just, let me just fall back a little bit and just work on what I want to do in life away from music. And that's what I went and done. And I just went and made a life for myself away from music. And then when I felt ready to come back, I was ready to come back. Yeah. Because when I did come back, I said, I'm, not, I'm, I'm done Strapsy. That's it. <laughs> I don't care if my music's not on radio. I don't care. It would be fun. I would love, listen, don't I'd love to wake up and see my music's being put on um, radio on extra. I'd love that. I'd love to get a book in 10 times a month. But if I don't, it don't, I'm not relying on music to feed me. Do you know what I mean? So that's what I managed to do, get to the point where I don't rely on music to make a living. Um, and I also, I'm at a place where I make the music I want to make. I say what I want to say, and that's it. You know, if it doesn't go on radio, don't go on radio, do you know what I mean? 2014, that sounds like sounds like a real period, man. When you spoke about that like, breaking up with your ex, mm. and this is I've been talking to a lot of artists about these things, right? Mm. Being an artist and having a relationship, mm. it's a dicey one. Because <laughs> yeah. it's like, mm. what's your what did your what did your, what did your boyfriend do? Yeah, yeah. Trust me. Do you know what I mean? Trust and, me. Mm. But do you feel like because you may have potentially had like so much anxiety and stress and this and that coming from the music that, mm. that actually affects your actual personal relationship? Um, I mean, I, I didn't have anxiety or nothing, do you know what I mean? Um, like, I, I think obviously girls, like, if I have a relationship with a girl, she has to be, she has to be self-secure in it, not be insecure, you know what I mean? I'm not insecure. Mm. So if I'm going out of a girl and she's a good looking girl, I know that man, I'm going to give her attention. I get that, that's the way the game goes, but I'm not insecure. Mm. So. It might, I, get, I understand that if I was to have a girlfriend at this moment in time, it could, it, I get that they, it's because I'm in the public eye and I'm on Instagram and girls like my pictures and leave comments, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? But then I have to say to myself, all right, cool, do I, am I going to unfollow all the girls that I follow and not talk to girls? So it's hard, isn't it? Because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a difficult question. I can't really answer it. I don't know. I mean, I mean more so like in terms of like, you're trying to get somewhere in music yeah, and yeah. also still trying to make of course. a relationship. It's, it's, a good, it's a good question. And I asked the same question because you, we all know as a rapper, you need girls to like you and, and fancy you or whatever. So when you don't, if, if you cut off all the girls that you speak to or 
it, it, it could affect you, but, mm. but I don't know, fam. I don't, I don't really know. That's not to say, like, at the same time, a girl can give you focus. Because you're not, you're not getting trapped in by all these girls and, yeah. oh, she's sexy, I'm getting... Because you've got your girl, you've got yeah, your girl. Yeah, so yeah. now you can just focus on your business. Yeah. So it works both ways, man. Yeah. Mm. Um, just a business, um, Don, like, you're doing a lot, you're doing a lot of the merchandise. Mm, right? mm, mm. What sparked that about and, like, break that down for people, how it's doing? Yeah, so, um, obviously you can see I'm wearing it. This is, um... My football club, SC Dons, um, my, my YouTube channel, Dons Trapsy TV, I film all the games for SC Dons. Um, it's called SC Dons, South East Dons, so you have to be from South East London to play for the Dons. <laughs> um, it's just my team, we all grew up together, we're all friends, we grew up together, and um, we're doing ma major things right now. The, the, the YouTube's on like 60,000 subscribers, we're selling hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of tops. It's going off, man. Um, but yeah, we're just a Sunday league football team. We film all our games. Um, we won the cup last year, brought 700 supporters to the stadium. Um, the guy said it's not been done. At, and at, it's a semi-pro team. He said even the, the team don't bring this many people. But it's a fantastic journey, man. I'm loving it. Everyone who knew my music know my football is my first passion. Mm -hmm. And it always has been. So it's just fantastic. It's a way for my supporters to get to know me on a personal level as well. I share all my personal life with them. Um, but yeah, man, like that's really all I can say. It's called SC Dons. We play football every Sunday, and I just film. I film everything. So that's that's what I'm doing a lot of at the moment. Yeah, yeah we, we've got a kit deal with Adidas. So um, I was gonna ask. So yeah, so yeah. It's, so it's official. It's official, man. Yeah, yeah. We got a kit deal with Kit Locker and Adidas. So um, they provide the tracksuits, the kits, our names on the back, and they do the distribution for the for the jerseys. Um, so yeah, man, it's good. It's a lot going on. See, people don't understand how much of a move that actually is. Bro. Yeah, it's a big movement. It's a big that movement. must make you feel really proud to be able to do like a business type of deal. Definitely, like bro. It. Definitely, man. Like, um, it's entertainment, isn't it? And I've been in music, music, football, sports. It's all entertainment. So it all intertwines. You know what I mean? So it's good for me because I'm making business relationships, which is good. And um, I'm very proud of it as well. I'm really proud because this is a team that, that we're really we're just a Sunday league team. Mm -hmm. And to be able to give my bridges like kits with a name on their back, tracksuits, jackets. Like have Adidas on our thing with the badge, like it's mad fam, so yeah. it's a good look. I want actually, I was just pulling it up. Mm. I'm trying to pull up one of my favourite tracks of yours, bro. Mm. I think it's Tish from, is it Tish from Heart? Yeah, that's old school, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? Do you remember yeah, that? I mean, yeah. obviously you remember, do you remember like the bars and that? Yeah, yeah, Tears from the Heart. I don't cry, these are Tears from the Heart, yeah. Yeah, yeah man, old school. Break that, break that song that or that tune down for me. Yeah, um, and a joke ain't finding it funny. He was broke, now he's blinded by money. Yeah, yeah, I remember, man. I, I, that was, um, that's I was like 18 when I wrote that, and um, I was in a different place. I was hungry, man. Like I was really, I was broke. I was broke. Um, like I said, I come from a loving home, but humble beginnings, you know. So I wasn't a kid that got pocket money or got my driving lessons paid for me. Like that wasn't happening. Um, if they could have, they would have, but they just didn't have the finances. So when I say I was hungry, but well, I was a hungry kid, man. Like, and at the time, I was very, my very, very close friend. We thought we got in the game because he started. Um, his cousin used to just whatever in it, yeah. So he was starting to make money, and and he wasn't bringing me in. You know what I'm trying to say, yeah. Um, and he started to change. Started to change. He was getting peas, and I got himself a whip. And I was thinking, bruv, you're not. You've left man out. What are you doing? I'm still out here. Yeah. So that's what that verse was a bit about. But like I said, my mind frame was in a hungry place back then. And um, that's why it was just like, ah, oh, these are tears from the heart because I was just frustrated and amb I'm ambitious. I've always been ambitious. And um, I was just wanted more, do you know what I mean? And I was thinking, nah, man, I need to get it. I need to get money. Um, and that's all I was focused on at the time. But yeah, man, that was, that was, that was one of my, that was like a stamp. That's one of my, one of my most viewed videos, I think. Yeah. Um, and it's good, man, because it represents where I was at the time. And you can see, so yeah, man. Yeah, that's wild, man. It's just wild just to hear that like, you were 18. Yeah, but I was young, man. I was young. And most of them boys in that video play for the Dons. I see it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It's this, it's the, we're all the same. We all come, we all grew up together. Yeah. I mean, you've spoken, a, you've verbalised it a few times now that you, you came from like a loving home mm. and such and such. So the natural thing people are going to say is what steered you away? Was it yeah. where, just where you were living? Like, yeah, like, like I said, um, I come, I've always said I've never been to jail. I think I'm the only one out of all of my friends. I can't think of none of my friends that ain't been to jail, you know what I mean? Um, and I always put it down to the fact that I did come, I was lucky enough to not come from a broken home. My mum and my dad been in the picture. Um, my dad's a religious man, took me to church. 
Um, and they were loving. I got love, do you know what I mean? I knew what love was. And for me, the thought of me going to jail, I knew it would have broken my parents, I broken my mum, you know what I'm trying to say? So like, um, that's what I really believe kept me on a straight and narrow. However, I did steer left. And I put that down to um, maybe, it's difficult. I, I didn't, I never, I, I, it was something that was in me that I didn't want to just settle for a job that I didn't want to do. And my friends, maybe where I grew up, I don't know, um, you know, everyone was doing what they was doing, getting money from the roads. And I just fell into that. I kind of fell into that way of living um, because I realised I could make money quicker there than going to get a job, you know what I mean? And I could chase my, I don't know, bro, man. It's, it's, it's a very difficult question for me to tell you why I stayed left. Um, but what I can say is my family didn't support it, you know? Um, and I had to hide it for them as long as I could. Um, but, you know, I don't know. It's hard to answer that question, bro. Like, I be, it was a choice. I chose to do it. I chose to live that way. Instead of going to get a job, I chose to say, nah, I'm not, I'm not getting a job, I'm not on that. Because maybe I put it down to my people, the old people that I was around, the, my older people that I was around, wasn't good role models. You know, they was telling me, yeah, I'll give you this, we can make this. Whereas like, I coach kids now, innit? I would never tell one of the young boys, ah, oh, I tell them to stay well away from it. You know, but I wasn't told that. And when you're younger and you're naive, because I was naive, man, I was like, I just wanted to be cool, you know what I mean? So when I was 15, 16, and Manon was telling me, giving me something to make peace from, I, saw, I, was, I was well involved. Because I thought they were my brothers anyway, you know? Mm -hmm. So, but as you grow up, you realise they're not, you know what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say? So I just fell into that route. Financially, I had no money, man, you know what I mean? I didn't get pocket money, I didn't have none of that. But again, it's no excuse. My sisters went and got a job, mm -hmm. you know? So that's how it is, really. But I think that's, and I, it's, it's great to hear, like, the full, 360 of like, mm. just the mentality because like you say now you are coaching young kids yeah, yeah, yeah. so it shows that like on our own we don't necessarily have to go to jail to be nah. reformed yeah exactly mm. so, you get what I'm saying yeah, yeah, we, just, yeah. we could just like make decisions mm, mm, mm. that work for us um, but you've obviously gone through a lot of like hard setbacks like this year mm. so like just how have you just in general um, aside from the successes been able to like just even just stay motivated yes yeah. um, you know <laughs> like I've, I've always been self motivated mm. I've always been self motivated um I've always had been strong in faith. Um, That's so, something I noticed a lot about you, like even in your posts. You yeah, know. I've always been strong in faith. I, although I haven't, you know, I haven't been in church for a long time, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm not a good Christian. You know what I mean? But um, again, I'm not perfect either. Please don't, don't. I'm not perfect, bruv. Um, but my faith alone keeps me motivated. I'm self-motivated anyway. I'm ambitious, um, and you know, yeah, I have had, I've had setbacks in my life, and I use that. I try to use that as motivation. I'm very ambitious and sometimes I believe it's maybe it's a gift and a curse. I don't sleep enough, you know what I mean? I'm tired a lot because I'm constantly wanting more, constantly oh, yeah. thinking I need to do this, I need to do that. And um, it, I also I'm lucky and like I said, I'm lucky enough to come from a family that gives me love and I got, I'm close friends, I've got very, very close friends and we're all ambitious, we all motivate each other. And these things keep me motivated, you know, because I feel like I want, I, want to, I want to be better, I want to do better. Um, you know, I'd love to be able to give my dad a brand new car or don't worry about this, don't worry about that. These things just motivate me. So I don't know, man, I just managed to stay motivated. That's just how I am. I was always, I've always been like that. I yeah. don't know if that's just a genetic thing. I don't know. But I've always been around hustlers as well, you mm -hmm. know, so it's a, it's a mind frame, an entrepreneurial mind frame that I've had to take on because I've never chosen to get a job. Like when I say a job, I've got a job now technically because I, I do my own coaching. And I've, don't get me wrong, I've had jobs as well. But um, it's, um, I've always, the way I've lived has never been secure. So I've never been able to sit down and say, yep, I'm getting 1600 at the end of month. I'm getting this, I'm getting that. So if I don't work double, double what he is, this man is working, I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So that's just how I've been. I've always told myself, I gotta work harder than the next man just to get what he gets. So I need to work triple to even get more than him. Do you know what I mean? So. I just I'm I'm addicted to the game, man. I just love I love working, and that's just how I am. Yeah, now nah, like, all the things you're saying, I relate, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like when you when you when you know there's more, mm. I've got to get it. That's what I'm trying to I say. I just got to get it. And like. then I have to say to myself, because my, my 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 family, my sisters are always telling me, oh my dad, ah, you got you got to sit back. 
take in what you've done, man. You're doing well. Have time off, lad. Like, they don't get it, lad. Like, <laughs> and I, I get that because it's important. It's important, but I just keep going. I keep going. Well, you know the power of manifestation. What do you mean? Like, you know you thought about it. Yeah, I believe in that. It happened and it, yeah. and it I worked. believe in that, talking it into yeah. existence and all that stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah. So in terms of, like, going forward, like, you say, like, you're ambitious, like, you're coming back to music, right? Yeah. Like, what's, 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 the, what's the plans, if any, like, about you returning yeah. to the game? So, like, yeah, again, like, with, with the game, it's been hard to be consistent because beats and like, I don't really get good beats, you know what I mean? So, um, but my boy, JR, plays for the Dons as well. He sings, he's got a studio and he makes beats. That's all I need. The rest is down to me. So now it's about being consistent musically, like putting out good content. And um, that's what I'm going to try and do. Mm -hmm. So I know, I know what I'm trying to do. I know the angle and I'm going to run with it. So, yeah. Do you, um, how do you feel about the game in general? Like, because we were saying this before, like you were never really in the mix of this whole like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kumbaya, we all rappers, let's yeah, yeah, hold yeah. hands. Yeah. You were like, I'm over here, yeah, I do yeah. my thing. Mm. How do you how do you see the game now though? Um, like I said, we were saying before, there's money in the game now, man. Like, whether I listen to it or not, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant because these men are making life changing money. Um, so, for me to say the game's not in a good place is is ridiculous. The game's in a good place. Like these kids are getting money, they're making money, they're changing their lives. Um, do I listen to most of the UK music? Not really. It's not really for me. Like I said, I'm more old school with the music I listen to when it comes to UK rap. Um, but it's good to know that these 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 kids that have come from the streets have actually got an avenue to make money and get out of the streets. You know what I mean? So it's positive. It's positive. But I just don't really listen to it. You know what I mean? It's not really my type of music. So yeah. Right, rounding up though, um, got like three questions. But mm. the first one I'm gonna ask you now is like, what do, what do you personally see as your purpose now? My purpose now. Um, Every day I'm just trying to be a good man, I'm trying to be a good person and give off my, my energy to other people. Um, my purpose, you know, I lost my mum and that's, that motivates me daily to, she was so caring, to care for people. That's my purpose in life, like, I'd love to be successful, I wanna, I'd love to be a millionaire and I'm working towards that and I believe it and I will become a millionaire, I believe that, Amen. but my purpose honestly is just to spread love man that's where i'm at that's my purpose in life and um what's what's your deepest song that you've made my deepest song yeah. sleep peacefully for my mum yeah yeah sleep peacefully for my mum oh. i put that out earlier um i put that out in april yeah april how hard was that to like record that track yeah bruv um it was difficult man but i i my best work comes from the heart so it wasn't hard to write it just, fl I wrote it in 15 minutes. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Um, it's emotional editing it because I edit my own videos and I, you know what I mean? I do all the editing. So when I was editing it, it was, it was emotional because mm -hmm. like I'm just seeing things, you know what I mean? I'm seeing things and, but at the same time, people, there's a lot of people that have gone through it. And uh, you know, I'm ho I get messages every day from people telling me, oh, how, how are you doing this? How are you coping? It's motivating. And I'm happy that they've seen that because I'm showing them that my mum has died, you know what I mean? She's gone in it, but um, I'm so grateful for the time I had with her. Mm. So I can either sit here and, and like let it kill me and crush me, or I can say, you know what? God, I'm so thankful that you gave me this woman for, for 27 years. I'm so blessed to have a mother like that who I had a fantastic relationship with. You've taken her back. Thank you for the time I had her. I'll see, her when, I'll see her when it's time, you know what I mean? So mm. all I can do is now crack on and keep going, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's right, because I, I saw the picture yeah. and I was just like, wow, that's like, it was hard, man. So I definitely like, mm. yeah, I've got to rate just the way that you spun it, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, so in terms of you now as a person, like, you're still a young man in the game, though. Yeah. You know, you've got a crock <laughs> knee now. Or, like, like, dodgy knee, bro, <laughs> dodgy man. Knee. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Madness. Yeah, yeah. Do, you, do you feel like um like you're someone I feel like your drive is gonna take you wherever you need. To. Mm. I think it's just a, people say it's a matter of time, but I know you, I can see you're working towards it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like when you come into the game, like are you looking at the independent route, possibly signing a deal with a major? Like, what do you reckon is the best? It's a good question, bro. Like honestly, um, when I come back to the game with music, I'm just trying to put out good music and see what happens. You know, um, like I said. I'm, a lot of my focus on SC Dons 
and my sports business. Um, with the music, I do genuinely believe that the authentic stuff is the most important. Like, if I if I, if I get a, a, a situation where I'm approached by a major label, of course I will listen. You know, there's money to be made. Do you know what I'm trying to say? There's money to be made, so of course I'm open to all to everything. But I'm not out here saying I need this, I need that. Um, at the moment, I need to work on making sure the music's good. When I'm confident the music's good, I'll sell the product. You know what I mean? And say, right, cool, this is what I'm working with. I believe in it. So you're gonna are you gonna f with me or not? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. I'm open to whatever avenue happens, you know. I need to do more research into the business side of the game anyway, do you know what I mean? I don't really know how that works. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I haven't really got all the links like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I think if I can just get the good good music and put it out, there, it, it will speak for itself. Yeah. So, yeah, man. And lastly, like, obviously, everyone knows you for, like, the football freestyles, like, mm -hmm. but, like, what kind of footballers be checking out your, your well, stuff, like? Mad, that's what you can name mad, like, big up Junior Stanley slash Declan Rice. Jesse Lingard, Marcus Rashford, oh, wow. um, Blair Turgut, all the non-league semi-pro footballers, the lower leagues, like conference boys, all the young lads. I can't, I don't know all their names. Like I just see it all the time. I see a blue tick. Um, Ola Aina. Yeah, that was our boys. Too. Yeah, bro. Viv Solomon. There's just they're all showing love, bro. Like all of them, man. And and it's love, man, because I'm just a bang average player. You know, I was gonna say I'm bang average, but I got heart. That's what people recognise for me. And um, you know, obviously, because I always do the football thing, then man will use it. Alfie May, like just bear them. So thank you to all of them, man. I appreciate it. When I see, I I get gassed as well. Like they might get gassed, but I get gassed as well, because it's it's just a good look in it to be appreciated. And these 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 guys we're talking about rich people that are successful in football, where they're humble enough to slide in my DMs like, yo, you're doing you're doing your thing. It will be. He's always DMing me. Alexander will be like, <laughs> so it's mad, bro. It's it's sick, man. Bro, mm. you're blessed, man. You're blessed, yeah, man. man. Mm. God shine on you, bro. Man. Respect, man. Respect, respect. Well, my bro, I, I want to catch up with you when you when we got the new music out, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely, you know I mean? definitely, like, definitely. It's been years in the making, just like yeah. Because what what happened? Like when I wanted, to, obviously when I first started, there was no way I thought I could get in contact with you because yeah. it was like you know that like Facebook, MySpace, yeah, and all yeah, this yeah, and yeah, and yeah. Like, and there's like DVDs a lot mm, that people mm, were mm. doing, and like man, and we're just doing mainly just like freestyles, like yeah, SPTV, yeah. and no one was really like talking at that point, mm. but. Bro, like, I've been a fan, man. Like, yeah, love, man, love, I think, bro. I think your, your pen game, it can never be, like, knocked, bro. Yeah, no, nah, respect, game's respect. strong, bro. Appreciate bro. it, man, appreciate Trust it. Me. Like, like I said, I still, to this day, bro, man, even on the way up here, I asked, my boy would tell you he stopped three, four times when I'm on the way up here. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's it's mad, fam. And I do appreciate the love, because I, I, it makes you feel good, because I, I believe that I'm, I, I'm good at what I do. Like, I'm yeah. confident if you give me a beat, I'll, I'll wrap it up. I know I can. Um, and just, yeah, but again, I appreciate it. Thank you for you, for you to tell me you're a fan. It's a big look, isn't it? I like no, it. No, 100%. you got to let mm. people know. you got like yeah. you got to show the people that you appreciate what mm -hmm. they're doing, man. Because sometimes you make music and you don't really know someone's just like, saying it just yeah, to yeah, like, yeah, get a yeah. reaction. Like, oh, I like, yeah, like. Yeah. But no, bro, for real, like, for mm. years. That's why like, I told you, Tears from the Heart. Yeah. I used, bro, I used to always loop that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah loop yeah. that yeah, man. all the time. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. So I remember, like, when I was in college, I was, I was listening to this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, nah, it's mad, fam. It's mad. Yeah, man. It's mad. It's it, man. Uh, yeah. Mr. Strap, see what you're doing, bro. Respect, man. Uh,